Hey guys, that's it going. About time to do some more on this full screen machine that's been sitting in here for like a long time. The problem I was having was trying to come up with a way to put the hydraulic or put the master cylinder onto the machine. And every bracket I was coming up with was just, you know, just a failure. It was messing up when I go to push on it. It just wouldn't work. And so finally, oh, I got this one set up. This is what I did. Oh, of course, the bungee cord is temporary. Here is the hydraulic line, and it goes up to the back of the master cylinder. I've got the reservoir over there. But it comes up, and then I have it bracketed to the top frame bar right here. I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to put it down inside of here somewhere, but... That was one of the problems I was coming across and everything I was coming up with was just failing because you see the drive shaft or the steering shaft comes down and connects to the rack and pinion that's underneath this big giant angle iron right here and that's where the rack and pinion comes out and this is pretty much where I wanted the master cylinder to sit but because of the stroke of the pedal and everything it it would not work plus the cylinder would be way down here and I wouldn't be gaining anything buy this setup anyway so i had to bring the master cylinder up closer to the pivot point of the pedal and so now i think i've got it adjusted so now it's time for a shameless plug be sure to check out the links down in the description to the next video previous video or another related build one big problem that I was coming across when I was trying to set this thing up so let me zoom in here a little bit so you guys can see this thing in action and like I said the uh, bungee cord is just there temporarily I'm just gonna put in a regular spring so let me push on it now once it's that was another problem I was having is the stroke from the plunger going into the master cylinder would always offset so it would be like going pushing in at an angle and oh man it was just real frustrating to get this set up so anyway so I got all this big bracket right here welded right onto this bar and there we go very very smooth and the plunger goes in straight so now uh, I'll be taking this all apart and now all I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to just sand all this stuff Wire wheel it and everything and you can see I've got my die grinders uh, Not die grinders, but I've got my uh, air grinders in there Got two of them got both of those from crazy Dave. He sent those off to me uh, well, a year ago Dave or two years something like that and uh, They've come in pretty handy. I, I tend to always forget I even have them and so what I did is I went down and bought two of these designated specifically for each chuck. So that way, yeah, I'm not going to lose them. Now, yeah, I'm just going to sand the rest of this stuff and then paint it all up and let it sit for a few days. And yeah, then rock and roll. Yeah, the last setup was just, just completely a failure. I call it a failure. I mean, it worked, but you know, I, you guys know me, I like my rear end to be able to lock up. If, if I want to stop, I want to stop. I don't want to have to think about where I need to aim or drive away if I can't stop, you know. So, yeah. Tell me what you guys think of that type of brake setup. I think the, the brackets are pretty tough. Yeah, I'm getting too long-winded here, and I'm just repeating myself. So, um, thumbs up the video, and uh, I'll see you guys later in the next one, okay? Bye-bye. What is that? Yeah, what the hell is that? That is a fire. Huh? It's a fire. You made a fire right there? <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> That's what that is. It's a dead, it's a fire. Um, I was uh, grinding up here. No, I was welding and some of the uh, stuff I had sitting up here caught fire and I didn't realize it until it was too late. I whipped up my helmet and I've got this blaze in front of me. And I grabbed it with my, you know, I had the gloves on. I grabbed it with my gloves and threw it down onto the ground. That, that happens quite often out here. I just don't tell you about it. You're going to burn the house down. <laughs>